So, you want to know about my blender theme? Well, you've come to the right video. Hey guys, welcome back to Tets by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender. Once again, taking a look at uh, my theme that I have, that I created myself, because so many people are asking me what theme it is, um, and it's a theme that I made, uh, like, right after I did the how to make a custom theme video, this is just the theme that I made afterwards. Um, so pretty much this is what my, what my blender looks like when I open it, um, and I have this all set up because of the, um, uh, the, the defaults here that we did in that previous video, um, but... Yeah, so pretty much this is what it looks like. I changed quite a few things. So if we go up to uh, edit and go to preferences, you can see here we have the option to change a lot of the different um, components of the UI here. Let's open this up a little bit real quick. We can change stuff in the user interface. Um, for instance, uh, we have regular over here and we can change the color of, uh, of this red. Let me just grab this color so I don't uh, mess anything up, but you can see like we can change the color of all these things and pretty much what I just did was I just picked the color I wanted to do like a nice uh, reddish kind of co color So I just did that um, Put that color back um, and I just kind of went through and every single uh, Color box I just clicked and dragged and dropped it in there um, for the uh, For the other stuff. I pretty much just got rid of things So it's a combination between actually changing colors Throughout, in, throughout these values here and all of these. Um, and then, like I said, going ahead and then just doing the um, the defaults and then just dragging this here and dragging this here and keeping it where I want it and then going up to file, default, save, startup file. Um, so that's, it, it's, 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 like I said, I think, did I have actually, I can't remember um, which, like there's so many different, pieces in here like going through this is always a pain but like it takes a while but I mean that's that's what I did um I think the the biggest category is going to be of course user interface here so all of these is going to be the ones you're really want to going to mess with and then 3d viewport is that is the other big one so you can see through here um if I take a look at the grid I can change the color of the grid which is something that was uh that is that there's something that I did I think I believe I made it darker um, but yeah, so you can change the color of the grid, you can change the color of the wires, um, of empties and lights and whatnot, but I, I'm pretty sure there is, there was, da, 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 somewhere in all of this madness, uh, I can't remember exactly where, but somewhere is selected, active, active object, there we go. So you can change the color of the selected object, which is something that I really, really wanted to do, because I don't, I didn't want it to continue being, uh, orange so I made it white as you can see and then somewhere as well there's also a thickness outline width there we go so you can see you can make this thinner or thicker if you look at the outline width there mine is all the way up on five which is the highest it can go um, you know the lowest is one I think I might actually change it up right now and actually leave it on 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 one so we're gonna actually uh, we're gonna leave that on there on one because I it's been too thick for too long all right um, but uh, but yeah so this is you can go through all this. Most of this isn't really going to do too much. Like, I mean, edge length text, that's not like, come on, what is that? Um, but you're going to want to change the grid, like I said, the grid, the outline, active object right here, uh, maybe the active keyframe as well. But like I said, the biggest two categories is going to be 3D viewport right here, and then user interface. You can change the colors for the tools. Um, you can make things rounded, not rounded, yada, yada, so forth and so on. I uh, see those boxes getting rounded like that right there. But um, but yeah, so like I said, I just went through here and did some stuff. It's not super crazy. A lot of people thought I did something really insane, but it's, it's, it's just a regular theme. I just did stuff with the defaults and then just hit save startup file. Um, but uh, but yeah, so that's that's pretty much that. And this Lomo, somebody asked me about the Lomo on this because you can see there's obviously like, you know, some kind of, you know, vignette on the edges of the canvas. This is here by default in Blender. I did not add this. It, it 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 Blender is just this way. If you didn't notice it before, then you didn't notice it. But I did not add this. This this was always like this, which actually kind of surprised me as well because I never really noticed it with the default Blender UI. But when I changed the colors and made things darker and and blah blah blah, I noticed it. And I was like, what? Like, look at this. You can clearly see there's some kind of vignette on this, which I never noticed. Like, I didn't notice it either. But um, but yeah. So that's pretty much that. I didn't do too much, nothing crazy, just changed the colors, made everything not round, I made everything square, 
uh, change the color of the white. This make this white change, make the background darker. I made the um, I made some of the some of the things blue. When you select them, they're blue. Um, but yeah, so that's that's that. I mean, it's nothing too crazy. Just go through the the themes um, and do uh, do a little bit of work. And like I said, it takes a little bit of time, but boom, you'll you'll get something that you really enjoy afterwards. And make sure you save it as well. So let's real quick. Let me just do this real quick. Um, make sure you save this. So go down here to do, 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 save preferences. So you can just make sure you save all preferences in general. And then up here at the top, you can actually save um, presets by hitting add. So you can hit the little add button right here, and then you can just change it. I, I call this one Kai's Redman. I don't know why, because it just I just did. But uh, but yeah, so you can just do that. Little plus button. There you go. Boom. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for today's tutorial. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.